I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. The stakes have been raised here in the wild card round as it's time to win or get an early start on the offseason. It's the Colts going up against the Patriots. So with kickoff straight ahead, we'll check in with our broadcast team. Here are Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Larry, we are about an hour's drive southwest of downtown Boston in the area known as Patriot Place, Gillette Stadium here in Foxborough. Straight ahead, we pull the curtain on the postseason with an AFC wildcard matchup between the Indianapolis Colts and the New England Patriots. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp, throughout the season to get to the playoffs. Intensity level will be off the charts. It's that most wonderful time of the year, the NFL playoffs, as we're underway on EA Sports. And a short kick, taking it about the 16. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. So here come the Patriots to take over on offense. And let out by their veteran quarterback. He's been around a while. They don't celebrate birthdays for him. They just cut him up, see how many rings he's got around the middle. He has been in the league a long time. Let's go! One, nine! One, nine! They'll try and start this drive in the air. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. the 41 the loss of a full three yards and now it's second down but when it comes to the running game the new england patriots they're one of the few teams in the nfl that i don't think care much about balancing things out <laughs> last year to your point fifth in passing yardage number 30 in the run game what they want to do each and every week is make a game plan based on their opponent not so much their own personnel and they try to attack that way They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a seven-yard pickup. They'll be looking now to third and six. The counter play is not for everyone, but certain runners love it. They have great vision and love to feel everyone moving in one direction, put their foot in the ground, and cut back the other way. Here we go. One, nine. One, nine. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So now the Colts backed up to start their initial drive. And they'll be let out by their quarterback, the very, very talented Andrew Luck. And Andrew Luck's skill set is absolutely fantastic. There's not anything that he can't do as a quarterback on the field. But I also think that he absorbed a little bit by osmosis. Some of that great bloodline. His father, formerly a quarterback in the NFL as well. Luck now to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. 
And when this offense is clicking on all cylinders, the running back is in sync as well. The focal point. Runs, catches, blocks, sets a tone for the offense. Second down to the offense needing five yards. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. That play almost seemed like a baseball play. See ball, hit ball. But in this case, see guy with ball, tackle guy with ball. Throwing on third down, Luck. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. First down coming there on the intermediate passing play. That's been a point of emphasis, they told us in practice, using those medium routes to keep the defense off balance. And it wasn't just them telling us. We got to watch them practice it and work on it because they've been trying to fine-tune it and get it right before this game. And I think they have to be happy with the result. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Second down following the run. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. He lost four there, and it's third down. On offense, a guy that you want to have the best eyes on the field are your quarterback, so you can see everything pre-snap, and then, of course, as a play develops. On defense, oftentimes it's the linebacker. And on this play, his eyes took him right to the ball, and he made a nice tackle. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Patriots take over. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out. Give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and it'll be a second down. When you decide to run a hitch route, it really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. So you always talk about good down and distance allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. And the offense lining up first and 10. gun they'll look to throw and he just gets rid of it throws it away the wise move there looked like nobody open now second down and here's the offense today that hopes to get off to a strong start so second and ten here Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play. But what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket. 
to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything, and sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. Counting down toward the midway point nine, in quarter nine. one. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check. Come they on, come out here in the nine, eye. Nine. One, nine, nine. Nine. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. They'll drop the pro. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height. Sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does, because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback who has to slide and find open space to throw. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he stopped immediately there. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. And he had a nice play there from his free safety position to hold him to nothing. And, Brandon, remember when the free safety was always back away from the line of scrimmage? That's changed. They always <laughs> that changed in a big way. The way we see it now, they're almost mirrors between the free safety and the strong safety. One will be up, one will be back, or sometimes. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A great effort there. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Pats have taken the early lead. Wild card round game, and you come out early, get the first score. That can be huge. Wild card game, but no wild play on this first drive. Well executed, lots of precision, lots of sharpness. That time, a nine-play drive, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. After the touchdown, Aguayo now ready for the kickoff. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And last time out, they had to punt the football away. Anything positive possibly to take from that? There always is when, when you're punting the football away. It doesn't sound like it because you're giving it up. But... You've avoided a mistake. At least you didn't turn it you over. You didn't right turn there. it over, right? You're giving it, giving your defense a chance because you're punting the ball away and they're set to go on the field as opposed to sudden change after a turnover. Wow, now you've got to go out there and stop people. So, yeah, there's always something bonds to be gained from it. And the linebacking core could certainly be crucial today. They do everything really, really well. Fly to the football, defend the pass, you name it, they do it, as well as set the defensive front. Decent chunk of yardage still left here, second and seven. And he'll give it here to his running back. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. A whole bevy of Patriots there that time to bring him down. And the offense facing a third and six. From the gun on third down, Luck. And he's got his man on the out route. 12 yards there as they move the chains. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Now a handoff here to his running back. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Now it looks like we've got a Patriot down, slow to get up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough.
And the offense moving in the wrong direction here now as they face a second and 12. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. Well, that was better than the first go around when he lost yardage, but still nothing there, and that sets up a third and long tough spot here. Put it mildly. Sometimes I wonder if some of that old school football should come back into play. You know what I would think here? Quick kick. Try and change field position, help out your team. And he showcased the spin, but couldn't do much else as he's wrangled down. It'll be a gain of six, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. As a defender, you're never crazy about a completion, but anything that doesn't result in a first down, you're going to be happy about. The key is to make sure it stays that way all game long. No missed tackles that turn into big plays. Taking it about the 16. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the offense will come back onto the field for the first and 10. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. They'll give it to him right up the gut. Limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. Second down to the offense in search of six yards. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And down he'll go at the 25. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Looks like a nickel set here defensively on third and two. Yeah, maybe expecting a throw. They'll set up a throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for the first down. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. See if they stay on the ground for second down. So we hit the quarter break in round one of the AFC playoffs. 7 nothing is our score, and we'll return to Foxborough after this. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. They've got a second down and eight to start things out. Come on, let's go! Brandon! From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. It looked like he might have had a window there, but the rhythm was just a little bit off. It certainly was because everything that has to come together to get a pass completed, yeah, you're right. The sink just wasn't there. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. So here we go, first and 10 now. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. They'll look to throw here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it, got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. And 
And on second and ten now. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. He'll look to throw. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. It goes as a gain of six, and it's a first down. Now this will be the ninth play on this drive. Really excellent job there just going up and getting it. Brandon, I'm a defender. I shouldn't be this excited, but what a play by the receiver downfield to elevate and make the catch. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That throw good for four. It's second down. Well, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Here we go! Brad 38! Brad 38! They'll look to throw here. And he will find his man on the outside. That catch good for five. It's third down. They're still in search of the first down after that last completion. And to give this time to the tailback. Give him a yard on the play, and he's definitely short. It'll be fourth down and a few inches. Here's Roberto Aguayo for the field goal try. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. I don't think this will even, nope, it doesn't even get there. Well short, and this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Now it looks like we've got a Patriot down, slow to get up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. And they still need eight yards for the first here on second down. They come out here in the eye. To throw on second down is Locke, surveying the field. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. And he's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Protecting here on third down after that sack. Play action. It's locked. He's got time in the pocket. Under pressure, and they got to him again. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up four. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer. They would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. The 
the Colts send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 51 yards on the punt there. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there, we've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. after just a short pickup. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? And on third down, the Colts have added an extra defensive back. Flooding the passing lanes. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. And what they're challenging here is the spot of the ball, and this is probably the hardest challenge to win. So difficult because the speed of the game, the angles of the cameras, your angle from the sideline watching the play can often fool you into thinking that the ball should be placed in a different spot. I'm sure as a coach, when you throw the flag, you hold your breath, then you get the verification you were right, a sigh of relief. Not only a sigh of relief, a little vindication as well, because every time you pull that red flag and throw it, you could be costing your team a timeout. Anytime you hear the term an explosive run, most teams I know define that as any run over 10 yards, and they got that and more. How about a lot of credit for the big guys up front? That offensive line firing out, creating plenty of space, and a big run ensued. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Switch it up here and look to throw. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. They go play action here on first down. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Second down here after the incomplete pass. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. One of the underappreciated aspects of great quarterbacks is their ability to sell fakes. And on draw plays, when they can sell the pass really hard to the defense and then hand it off, that's when that play's successful. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but 
for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. Oftentimes with these gadget plays, these fakes, we focus on the offense and say, hey, they practiced this this week. They were But the defense has practiced these situations too. And just look at it this way. The two owners sitting up in their boxes, one is saying, boy, is my team well prepared? And the other one's like, I got to talk to my coaches. What were they thinking? And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots, but what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. <laughs> on second down, here's Locke. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Whistles and a flag. Looked like one of the Colts linemen might have jumped. Here's Luck now on second down. And he comes back with one complete. 11 yards on the pickup, and it'll be third down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. An extra defensive back in the game now here for third and four. Luck throwing again. Man open right side, it's Rodgers. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. The Colts send out their punter, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. Get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no, no yardage. Yards. Okay. So the Patriots coming out now. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, OK, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back with more AFC playoff action after this timeout. A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Larry Ridley at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. They'll look to throw now on first down. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. 
Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see a breakdown as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it up, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Third and five, so they bring in an extra defensive back. Expecting pass. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And now here's a timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. And now a high kick here as he'll try to hang it up there. That'll go for only 17 yards on the punt. And the Colts are set up well as they take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. And let's shift now to talking about the Patriots' defense. It's a five-receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. On first and ten, Locke, he's got time. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. They got pressure there and only rushing three. And there's a defensive coordinator right now who is celebrating not just getting home with three there, but realizing if that's the type of pressure he can get in the entire game, then his pass defense is going to be excellent. You drop an eight, where are you going to go with the football? Back to the air, Luck on second down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. defensive back here, so probably not expecting a run on third and three. A good call. They'll fake it. Now Lock. And he finds a man with a crossing route. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. After that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. On first down, Locke. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. On second and ten, lock. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. in press coverage here. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Throwing on third down, Locke. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver as the first half is winding down. And the Colts are an extra point away from tying up this football game. 
And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. A drive that time of six plays, and it culminates in an Indianapolis touchdown. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. to him right up the gun. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup as we'll send you down the coast to Orlando where we check in with our friend Larry Ridley and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Thanks, guys. We'll get back to you soon for the second half of this tied ball game. But first, let's look back now at this first half of play. Both the Patriots and Colts haven't figured out yet how they're going to move the ball through the air. The defenses on both sides have kept points off the board, and it will be interesting to see if they can keep that up. So let's take a look at the highlights from the first half. Patriots lined up at the 10. He'll head up the middle on the run, and he capped off the eight play drive with a TD. Third down from the 32. Defense will get to the QB here. This one ends up as a loss of six. Patriots have it late in the second. They're gonna come away with another sack here. This ends up as a loss of nine. Time left on the clock. Luck connects on a pass into coverage. And this five-play drive goes for a touchdown. Coach tied up at seven. So that's going to do it.